Our research spans the broader area of sport, health and exercise. We have three research themes. The first is extreme environments, focuses on the selection, preparation and protection of those who enter extreme environments. The second is physical activity, health and rehabilitation. So we focus on clinical and also non-clinical conditions and also how physical activity can help improve the lives of people. Our third and final theme, individual, occupational and organisational performance, looks to see how we can improve the performance of individuals, organisations and teams. The facilities that I use at the university is our biomechanics lab. The types of equipment that we use is a 3D camera system which allows us to put markers on an individual and track their movement in 3D so we can really look at their movement in detail. We also use force platforms to have a look at the ground reaction forces and also EMG as well which is electromyography which allows us to look at muscle activity and we can track that through different rehabilitation processes. So the outcomes that I've seen from my research has been improvements in walking speed for example which we know is one of the high outcomes of quality of life for individuals who live with stroke in sort of the preliminary research that we've had a look at. Um, it's looking positive in terms of using different robotic rehabilitations to improve functional outcomes of individuals with stroke. I'm based with the Extreme Environments Group and they've built a reputation over many years of looking at the physiological responses to all of our different extreme environments, so our heat, our cold and our hypoxia. We can effectively recreate any environment that you would come across uh, on Earth. So we've got a heat chamber that can go up to around about 50 degrees. We've got a cold chamber that can go down to about minus 20. And then we also have another environmental chamber that contains a flume. And then all three of those chambers can create a hypoxic environment or simulate altitude. So we can go anywhere from sea level to around about 8,000 metres. So we could effectively put someone in a rainforest, in a desert, up the top of Mount Everest. The facilities and expertise that we have in Portsmouth are among the best in the world. With the heating, we can increase the temperature in the flume and use the mechanism to move people into the flume and control how hot they get by adjusting their position. We have a plunge pool as well in one of the other environmental chambers and then also uh, we can simply just use normal hot tubs. In terms of career opportunities, the great thing about the extreme environments work in particular is that often exposure to these extreme environments often mimics clinical conditions. So as well as continuing to be able to offer guidance and work in the areas specific to extreme environments, it also opens up a really nice avenue for you to then go into work in hospitals and more clinical populations. I'm really proud of the research that I do. There's been some particular individuals who wouldn't leave their house at all, even if a member of their family went with them. And now, at the end of their intervention, are happy to walk to the corner shop, even on their own. And that has a massive impact on their quality of life. And that's really amazing. Some of the research that's come out of this school has heavily informed the RNLI Respect the Water campaign over the last couple of years. And that's something that makes me passionate to continue working at the University of Portsmouth.